Hey yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I'm going to take you through a very simple chair yoga class that is suitable for absolutely everybody. So this is a wonderful way to get into yoga if you have a limited range of motion for any reason. Um, even if it's just because you're dealing with an injury for a while because of my knee injury, chair yoga was the only thing I could do for many, many months. And um, it's really surprising how much you can actually do with the use of a chair. So it's a wonderful way to build up some strength, increase your flexibility while also staying safe and stable with the use of a chair. So in terms of like the kind of chair you want to use, I would say you want one that has a back. So you definitely want a back to your chair. And if you have one that doesn't have handles, that doesn't have like arms, that's even better. And otherwise that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to need. So try to get your yourself a chair where you can actually like sit and lean back in it and not worry about your hands. And we're going to start with the feet about hip width distance apart or so. Just let your hands rest on your thighs, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears, lift the crown of your head up and just close your eyes here. Taking some deep cleansing breaths in and out through your nose. being really mindful of your posture throughout this practice. And we'll be moving very slow, so don't feel like you need to rush. This truly is meant to be for everybody, regardless of age or experience level. So slow, steady breathing in and out through your nose. And we'll continue with this breath, but add in some little neck circles. So you can drop your head over towards your right shoulder and then trace little half moons as you drop the chin to the chest. And then inhale to lift back up. Just half moon, so not taking the head back. Let's just go a little here. Relax your jaw fully so there's no tension. And the next time you bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, you're going to hold it there. And you can extend your left arm out to the side just to deepen the intensity of that stretch. If you'd like to take it further still, you're welcome to bring your right hand towards the top of the head, not pushing down, but instead pulling your ear further away from your shoulder. And if it's too much, let go of the arms. Not looking for anything too intense here. Just a great way to release tension and lift the head all the way back up and we'll switch sides so left ear towards your left shoulder keeping the chin slightly lifted and then right arm can reach out to the side maybe using your left hand to pull the ear further away you might notice that one side is different from the other keep your chest lifted so the spine is long not slouching at any point here and come all the way back to center hands on your lap cat and cow from here so you might want to hold on just to the fronts of your knees as you inhale you're going to lift the chest up to the sky squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and on the exhale round forward and contract in just a few more like this inhale open up and exhale lower down twice more Tracked. And let's come all the way back to center. So you're going to bring your right hand towards the outer edge of your chair. So you want to cross over your body. Reach your left arm up to the sky and then move into a side bend. So you want the left fingertips to reach all the way up and over. And it just helps to be able to grip the chair so that you don't fall over, of course. Lengthen out. Inhale, come back up. And then with your left hand, you're just going to bring it to the back of your chair and then use the chair to twist yourself open. So you can even go and look over the left shoulder. Lengthen and reach the crown of your head up to the sky. 
exhale to release and we'll switch sides so this time bring your left hand over the chair hold on to it reach your right arm up to the sky so this length that you're creating you want to maintain it even as you tilt and stretch out extending long through those fingertips big deep breath here come all the way up into your twist hold on to the back of the chair as you look over your right shoulder so no slouching, no rounding forward here. And release, facing forward. Little half sun salutations. As you inhale, circle the arms wide, palms come together to touch. And then exhale, fold all the way down, let your belly rest over your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. You can lengthen the crown of your head forward and exhale, fold deeper still. Push into your feet, come all the way up. Inhale, strong through your core. Exhale, hands at your heart. One more like this. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold even deeper. Push into your heels, lift on up. And bring your hands down to the heart. And you can just turn to one side, doesn't matter which side. But you'll want to straighten the legs just a little bit more. So they really don't need to be perfectly straight. I'm keeping them a little bit bent here, but you just don't want to have your feet under your knees. Extend them out a little bit more. And then inhale, lift the heart, and we're gonna make our way into a forward fold. So all the way down. And you might be able to let your fingertips come down to the floor, just trying to stretch into the hamstrings a little bit, stretching through the spine. This is what we call ragdoll pose in yoga. And now grip your hands on your legs to slowly walk them back up, coming on up. And face forward once more. Now facing forward, you might need to move forward a little bit on your chair. You don't want to be resting all the way back. So only the seat is down and then pull your right knee in towards your belly. So you can either hold on to the back of the thigh or the front of your shin, and you're just going to take some ankle rolls with that right foot. Really flex and point through the toes, get as much motion and movement as you can here. You can reverse the opposite direction. And now if possible, you're going to keep your right knee as it is, but let go of your left arm. So reach your left arm out to the side. And now bring some stillness to the foot. We're gonna do the same thing, open up. So hip flexor and core strength is holding that right knee up. Take a big inhale. If you'd like to go further, you're going to straighten your right leg out in front of you. I know this one is hard. And now hold on to the back of the hamstrings and lift it up. So big hamstring stretch and release set the foot back down we'll switch sides so left knee comes in towards your belly hold on to whatever is accessible and you can flex and point the toes take a few ankle rolls really try to lift up tall here draw your shoulders back and bringing some stillness to the foot you're going to extend your right leg or sorry your right arm out to the side really feel the abdominals start to contract and engage and you're going to hold that knee there as you also open up the left arm up so a challenging pose really working on strength inhale straighten that left leg try to push into the heel full body strength and then hold on to the back of the hamstrings to lift it up a little more big big stretch and release down so from here open up your legs as wide as they'll go so like a goddess pose that we would do in yoga you want your heels and toes pointing out so everything is in line hips are open knees are open toes are open as you inhale you're going to circle the arms up big breath in exhale hands lower down to the heart think of squeezing your glutes to pushing those knees open this should be an activating pose Inhale, arms wide. 
Exhale, hands at your heart. One more like this. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release it down. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs and we're gonna take a shoulder release. You can drop your right shoulder down and at the same time, I'm using my right hand to push my knee open a little bit wider. So there's a really big stretch here through the inner groin as well as a twist through the upper body. And switch sides, so push into your left thigh this time. Drop your left shoulder down. And coming all the way back to center. From here, bring your legs back in. We're gonna take warrior two. So you wanna bring your right knee out to the side and you're gonna step your left foot all the way back. So my right thigh is fully supported by the chair. You don't need to use too much leg strength here, but you're gonna be able to play around with it. So the left foot is flat to the mat, parallel. Right toes point directly forward and you want your knee and your toes to be in line. So from here, you can go ahead and reach your arms out nice and long, palms facing down. Shoulders are over your hips and you can play with building up your strength here. So eventually you wanna be able to push your feet into the mat and actually lift your hips off of the chair. But if that's not happening just yet, no problem. Just think of really pushing your feet into the floor to activate the muscles. Take three breaths here where you are, lengthen out even more. Super strong. And we'll reverse, bring your left hand to your left thigh, reach your right arm all the way up and over. Big side bend. Come all the way back, extended side angle. You're gonna bring your right hand to your right thigh, left arm up and over, like a big counter stretch. And let's release. And we'll go and switch to the other side, so carefully bend that left knee. And this time you want your left thigh to be completely supported by the chair as you step your right foot as far back as it can go. You want that right leg to be nice and straight. Try to align the front, your front heel to the middle of your back arch. And once you have that with your shoulders staying over your hips, you're gonna reach out long through the arms, palms facing down. And again, you're trying to challenge yourself a little bit, especially if you're you know, working on rehabilitating an injury, for example. Start to push the feet into the floor and see if maybe the hips can start to hit, lift and hover an inch or so off the chair. Now, this will be hard if your chair is very high, but hopefully you're able to work on it at home. Let's reverse, right hand down to the leg. Left arm reaches all the way up and back. Back to center. Extended side angle. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm extends all the way up and over. So your bicep is along the ear and you're reaching out through the right fingertips. Come all the way back and we'll face forward. So starting to unwind and slow things down. Instead of sitting all the way back in your chair, scooch forward a little bit here. You'll want to give yourself some room. And as you pull your right knee in towards you, you're going to cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee. And think of pushing that knee down. Already just by doing this, you might feel a really big sensation into your right glute and hip. If so, you can stay as you are. If you'd like to go forward, you can start to make your way into a forward fold. Maybe just hanging out here, you might lower down, but there's really no need to go too far here. We're just getting rid of any tension through that glute, through that hip. And come all the way up, and you're going to cross your right thigh over the left one Left hand crosses over, right hand to the back of your chair. One more twist. Unwrap, release the legs. We'll go to the other side. Pull your left knee in and then cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee, right thigh. Press that left knee down. And you might hang out here and stay as you are or you can fold forward. 
intensifying the sensation through that left hip and left glute. Let's lift back up, completely cross your left thigh over the right one. Bring your right hand over the left thigh, left hand to your chair, twist. And release. Go ahead and sit all the way back in your chair. Get comfortable, our variation of Shavasana. You can let your arms relax, palms can face up, and just close your eyes without slouching too much. Just notice how you feel now as opposed to when you first started moving and flowing. Feeling the activation and engagement through the entire body. Take five cleansing breaths here. Let's bring our palms together at the front of the heart, bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this chair yoga class here on YouTube. If you're looking for more chair yoga classes or if you're a teacher and you want to teach uh, chair yoga and you're just looking for more ideas and inspirations, I do actually have a full chair yoga program um, that's available for purchase. I'll put the link to that down below in the description box. I came out, that was probably like one of the first programs I ever created a long, long time ago. So the videos themselves are a little bit old but honestly it's a really really good program i put a lot of work into it so it comes with like an ebook it breaks down i think 40 or so chair yoga poses that you can do and then there are a few different kinds of yoga classes as well so there's a level one class that's a little bit like this one, so really staying seated on the chair. And then there's a level two class, which um, is a bit more challenging because you're going off of the chair, but then using it for balance for certain poses. And I believe there's like a quick, uh, like a quick energize, energize boosting uh, chair yoga class in there as well. So definitely check that out. And if you'd like to see more chair yoga classes on my channel, I would love to teach more of these. So please let me know. And of course, as always, please do subscribe. It's a wonderful way of supporting free yoga on the internet. Thank you so much. Namaste.